Good afternoon, Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media. I, I'm here at Microchip, the headquarters in Chandler, Arizona. I'm with Ganesh Morthy, and he is the COO and the President of Microchip. Good afternoon, Ganesh. Good afternoon, Rich. Um, we're doing this series on trends in our industry, but before we do that, um, I want to ask you some microchip specific questions. And um, you're on the hot seat here, so, so you have to answer my questions. Um, the old days, and, in, and we, we measure old days and not that long back, it was, it was pretty easy to understand what microchip was all about. You guys did PIC MCUs, uh, you had analog. Um, even after the, after the Atmel acquisition, it, it, was, it was clear um, what the strategy was. Now you have MicroSami, and it's just a little different. So when somebody says to you, well, what is microchip? What are they all about? What, what's the answer? So I don't think it has changed that dramatically after MicroSemi. So even before MicroSemi and including MicroSemi, uh, Microchip is about uh, enabling embedded control solutions and building solutions around three pillars that uh, guide us. Uh, the first pillar is around what are we doing to enable the intelligence in devices, uh, either to add intelligence for the first time, grow the intelligence, uh, so that you get smarter devices. Uh, second is how do they connect? and do they connect wirelessly, do they connect wired, and a broad range of different industries that need different types of connectivity. And third, how when they're connected do you ensure that they're secure? So microchip is about smart, connected, and secure solutions for the embedded control market. Now what you just described is what we call the Internet of Things. Was, I'm assuming that wasn't by accident. I, you know, the Internet of Things has meant different things to different people. Certainly this is what it means to us. And uh, when we uh, look at smart, connected, and secure, and we look at all of the microsemi businesses, they all fit precisely in that definition of smart, connected, and secure. Uh, in some cases, they are at the edge of the node. In other cases, they are in the infrastructure, as the case might be. But they all enable smart, connected, and secure. And you're right, Internet of Things is right in the center of that. Mm -hmm. So are you saying Microsoft, Microsoft, microchip will play in uh, the various areas at, at the edge, um, in the gateway level, I doubt in the cloud, but you tell me. In fact, we do play at all levels, and uh, the cloud uh, comes from the point, you may not think of us there, but you know we have for years provided uh, different devices that go into uh, servers. Uh, with MicroSemi, we are into uh, storage networks, we're into the wireless infrastructure, uh, areas. So depending on where your definition of cloud uh, is at, uh, we do play. Now we are more well known and probably have played longer uh, on the edge, uh, but certainly we have other solutions as well. So you use the word smart. You've used it a bunch of times now. Does smart today mean the same thing as here as we're getting into the trends? Does smart a year from now mean the same thing that it means today? It constantly evolves because uh, people are innovating, right? And at the end of the day, what we want to do is provide the tools that enable that innovation. How they use the microcontroller, what features we would add, what features they would take advantage of. How does the analog functionality either built into the microcontroller or built standalone, all play together. So uh, smart in many ways is defined from an application perspective. The microcontrollers and the analog and the memory are all enabling elements mm -hmm. to bring that vision of smart to reality. Now, if, if I'm an engineer and I just heard what you said, um, that sounds like it's hard. Um, what are we doing to, to make it easier for the engineer who has to design this stuff? Great question. So a, a lot of what we try to do is uh, enable with uh, tools, uh, building blocks, uh, software snippets, um, uh, complete application stacks, uh, and enable customers to decide at what level would they like to use what we provide and at what level do they want to do their own customization uh, and own it. And what we provide, we think, are enabling elements. And it gets them to market hopefully faster, gets them to a prototype that they can show their boss, who can then decide, am I going to or not going to invest in it? Uh, and in that sense, is how we make it easier. OK, one thing you said that I'm going to take you to task on, the building blocks. What, what, what does that mean? So a building block can mean um, you know, we have many, many uh, small boards that are there for demonstration purposes. 
We have lots of software that we have where somebody says, hey, I want to put together a system that has this kind of functionality, and we'll enable that functionality with what we have. So there are hardware building blocks, there are software building blocks, and both together can be, you know, you can mix and match what you want to work. We do lots of reference designs, which is another thing to give people either an ability to use it as is or something which gives them a, a proof of concept from which they can adapt what they want to be able to go do. One more for you. Um, where does open source play in, into the strategy? So open source plays a critical role in many areas. And uh, it's really a function of what does the customer system want to do. So for example, in the transition, or, or when we acquired micro, uh, uh, at, when we acquired Atmel, uh, Atmel had a microprocessor business line. Mm -hmm. A substantial portion of the microprocessor business line runs with Linux operating system, mm -hmm. as an example. Right. Uh, that made it a much bigger uh, play than uh, what we had before. But even in some of our traditional businesses, uh, many, many customers look for, can I run this on an open source uh, you know, operating system, an open source uh, you know, piece of software that they want to be able to run. Um, it is a function of some customers are more comfortable with uh, going, and some will almost insist to go in that direction, while others have concerns on, well, what does that mean to my IP, and where does it all go, et cetera. But we think it's an important part of the development community that we will need to support and cater to. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. A pleasure. Appreciate it.